Welcome to the Panoptes Robots Assembly Lab. So we're actually in the lab right now and we're assembling Panoptes Robots. So uh, this is a mount that can track the sky. Those are regular cameras, DSLR cameras. Um, you can see the lens here. So regular camera you can take pictures with. Um, some electronics, that's the brain of the robot. And what we do here is we put it all together. And when it's done, this is what a Panoptes unit looks like. So essentially, it's a very small robotic telescope. It's got two eyes. So if you come around here, you can see those are essentially regular cameras. And uh, what they will do is at night, they will take pictures of the sky all night long. So at night, the robot wakes up, starts taking pictures of the sky, and it will go all night long. And in the daytime, it, it, it goes to sleep. So how is it that such a small telescope can find planets, can find planets around other worlds. Well, let's think about this for a second. So I'm gonna draw a star. This is a star. A star is like the sun. It's a big ball of gas, very bright. That's why stars make light at night. Um, and if you measure the brightness of this star, it should be fairly constant over time. It shouldn't change. What happens if a planet, a little green planet, for example, is going around the star. So it's going around in a circle like this. So when the planet is here, you don't really see it. It's so much fainter than the star. However, as the planet is moving in front of the star, let's say it's here, it'll block a little bit of the light of the star. The star will look a little bit fainter. And the planet moves, 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 moves. And when it comes out on the other side, here, then the star becomes brighter again. So if we were to actually look at how bright is the star as a function of time, this is how bright the star is, this is time, what we would see is basically a little dip in flux and then it comes back up. So the easiest way to find a planet is to look for that, is to look for a star getting a little bit fainter. Now, you could try to look at one star and try to wait for this to happen, but you would have to be very patient. It probably would never happen anyway because maybe there's no planet or the planet never passes in front. So what you have to do is look at a huge number of stars, millions of stars, all night long from all over the world to see this. And that's why we need robots to do this. And that's why we're building this uh, Panoptes robot. And um, if you go to our website, you can find out that you can actually build your own. Thank you very much. Bye.